hello students so in this video lecture we are going to discuss an important topic from the excretion chapter and that is the kidney so as you can see on your screen the cross section of the model of kidney has been presented all right so this is a cross section of the kidney so we will be talking about the histology of kidney that means the various components of the kidney which are being shown in this cross section all right and what are the blood vessels that enters or exit from the kidney then what are the different zones that are present in the kidney we will see all these things together in this video all right so let's just start now so when we talk about the histology of kidney all right so the histology of kidney basically includes the summarization of all the important zones or all the important components of the kidney all right so we will see one by one that how these you know components are where are these components present and what is the peculiarity of these zones or component all right so the outer layer of kidney which you can see over here let me just show you first the cross section part so as you can see on your screen that the backward side is something looking like this all right and the frontal side if i you know if i just flip this model a little bit over here so the frontal side looks like this all right so this back side which you can see which is a brownish in color this is basically the outer tough part so this is usually the outer tough part of the kidney and this outer tough part is representing the renal capsule all right so the outer layer of kidney is a tough renal capsule all right so we can just label this part as the renal capsule this part renal capsule all right and if i just isolate that part so you can see that it looks like this this is the isolated part all right so that is the capsule part now inside the kidney there are basically two zones present so inside kidney there are two zones all right now what are those zones called so the zones that are present inside the kidney is differentiated into an outer zone and an inner zone so outer zone is called as the cortex and the inner zone is called as the medulla so we will label the respective zones as well here so this you can see this is the cortex zone and this one is the medulla zone all right so the cortex zone and the medulla zone which you can see so if i just again isolate these components so this entire which you can see all right this entire structure is including both the outer and the inner zone if i just slice out few of the components like this if i just slice out the blood vessels like this so you can see the outer one is representing the cortex and the inner one is representing the medulla all right so you can see that the medulla is actually divided into conical shape so you can see the shape of the medulla also which is actually cone like shape like this so it is actually divided into few conical masses called as medullary pyramids all right so we can also note this point as well that medulla is divided into conical masses and those conical masses are called as medullary 
pyramids medullary pyramids and these medullary pyramids you can see they are actually projecting into calluses so this medulla we can just clearly call it as medullary pyramids these are medullary pyramids so they since they are having the pyramid like shape and which are conical like shape like this that's why all right and this part which you can see is representing the calyx part and the plural is the calluses so the medulla is divided into the conical masses and that has the projections which are called calluses so projecting into calluses calyx is the term for singular now if we look into the shape of the kidney then the shape of the kidney is concave or convex all right so if you consider this part so this is the convex part all right and this side since it is embedded inside so this is the concave part all right this is the concave part so that's why in case of mammals the shape of the kidney is concave or convex so kidney shape is concave convex all right now towards the inner surface of the kidney there is a slight notch present all right so if i just uh, make you people just see the back diagram of this cross section kidney so you can see that see this part this portion which you can see this part so here there is a slight notch present here which is being called as hilum so this is a slight notch which is present in the center of the inner concave surface so this is present at the concave surface of the kidney and this is called as notch so notch is basically a structure through which different components of the blood vessels ureter nerves they enter all right so we will note down this part as well that the center of the inner concave surface has a notch called hilum all right now hilum is the point through which the ureter blood vessels and nerves will enter so so i'll also label all the components as well so through hilum ureter then blood vessels and nerves enter all right so this is the case now we can just see the location this is representing the ureter all right and this is the renal artery all right and this one is the renal vein all right so uh, renal uh, arteries are the blood vessels uh, that will carry the blood all right so that enters into the kidney while renal vein it exits the kidney all right and ureter is this one which you can see on the lower side all right so renal arteries renal veins and we have seen the ureter now we will also uh, discuss uh, you know after completion of this entire description we will see all the labelings of the components of the kidney together as well all right so inner to the hilum is present a broad funnel shaped structure so this you can see you know if if i just 
till the model a little bit over here like this let me just rotate this like this yeah so this is the hilum part we have already seen is uh, present a broad funnel shaped structure here which is this one and this is representing the renal pelvis this is inner to the hilum which is a broad funnel shaped space present so let me just isolate this cup see this part this part represents the broad funnel shaped space which is the renal pelvis now this renal pelvis is is having the projections you can see all right it is having projections you can see and this we have already seen that these are representing the calluses so this is the renal pelvis part and these are the projections which are called calluses if you just put on all the things together so this becomes our renal pelvis and these are calluses all right so inner to hilum is present broad funnel shaped space called renal pelvis now renal pelvis is in turn having projections so they have projections and those are called calluses so thus making this figure simpler now the question that arises in our mind is that that from the hilum which are the blood vessels that will enter into the kidney and which are the blood vessels that will leave the kidney all right so if we can see that from the hilum renal artery and renal nerves so renal arteries and renal nerves they will enter into kidney so they enter into kidney while renal vein and ureter these two are going to leave the kidney so they come out of kidney now we will label all the components together now in order to see their intact structure so starting with the labeling part we will just bring this model a little bit in the center so this outer tough layer is representing the renal capsule all right this we have seen is representing the cortex part and this we have seen is representing the medullary pyramids now you know uh, one thing which is very important between cortex and medullary pyramid is that you can see the space present all right you can see the space present between the cortex and the medullary pyramids which is this one this one so this is representing the renal columns these are representing the renal columns and these renal columns are known as columns of bertani so these are being called as columns of bertani so columns of bertani are also called as renal columns and it is the cortex which is going to extend between the medullary pyramid so you can see the cortex is extending themselves inside the medullary pyramid so that's why it is being called as column of the renal tubule so this is representing the renal column then these are the medullary pyramids medullary pyramids since we already discussed that medulla is present in the form of conical masses which are representing medullary pyramids this is the calyx all right now here this one is representing the renal artery this one represents the renal vein 
this center part is representing the renal pelvis broader funnel shaped space and this one is the ureter it's ureter all right so this is the entire labeling of the kidney cross section so we have seen the entire histology of the kidney that what are the different components and zones of the kidney uh, that are present inside it all right in all this entire cross section of the kidney the one very important thing we will also be discussing this part in the coming videos as well and that is the structural and the functional unit of kidney all right so the structural if we consider the structural and the functional unit of kidney then it is considered to be as the nephron so one very important point and that is the structural and functional unit of kidney so this is being represented by nephron and you will be very surprised to know that you know since humans have two kidneys so each kidney contains around 1 million nephrons that means 10 lakh nephrons all right each kidney has 1 million nephrons so you can just imagine that the efficiency of you know urine formation then the efficiency of excretion process it is so very efficient and it is so very prominent through kidneys they play such a very important role in the process of elimination of waste and in the process of urine formation as well all right so this was all about the histology of the kidney thank you